game comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. And as you can see, we've already started here. Who do you, Jim, see making a difference here? Um, David De Gea, simply because of the remarkable strides he's made to earn the worldwide respect that now exists. From an insecure, hesitant spell, he's grown into a supremely confident and assured character. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Ashley Young. Ashley Young goes looking. Right through the middle. Just the goalkeeper to beat. Goes for goal! Goal! Porto! First blood drawn. The lightness of step, the sharpness of movement, the certainty of finish. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Porto take the early advantage. Rashford desperately wants to get on the end of this. Danilo Pereira. Walk forward. What does he try from here? Porto are already ahead. The perfect start. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. And to meet it! And that's caused a worry or two. Uh, that's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Offside, yes, it is. Alex Tellez is charging up on massively. Played in with accuracy. Manchester United have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Pepe positions himself well and cuts it out. McTominay plays it forward. It's a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Gets it back. Dashing forward at pace. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Andres Pereira tries to get it forward quickly. It's Rashford! A real chance and a real let-off. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Ivan Marcano. 
There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1 0. Pepe. And the ball is out of play. Ashley Young. Forward it goes. Good challenge, he just stood firm. And that's put paid to a promising move. Has he found his man? Uh, the ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Oh, what a ball! Driving on, he could shoot here! Has a hit! In it goes! Two up now, and they are cruising! What a great finish, but how about the touch? It just allowed him to put the ball exactly where he wanted it, and the rest became a formality. Porto get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Lindelof with a fine tackle. And that has been clubbed away. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. First 45 minutes are up. So reviews on the first half. Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position. So why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Porto sitting pretty here at half time. 2-0 up. And we are already promptly back on the way. Alex Tellez. Here it comes. Oh, smart save. So who's he picking out? Back in once more. That intervention was very necessary. Andreas Pereira. Andreas Pereira. He's making a foray down the right. Juan Bissaka. Very well to intervene. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Look, he's offering an apology to his teammate, who's clearly miffed at not being picked out despite making what looked like the right run. Manchester United are keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to... to Has a goal! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Rashford looks to get on the end of this. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Pepe. Van Marcano. So we've reached the hour mark. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. Maguire drives it towards the front. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Maguire. That's been drilled forward. 
Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Going through. Lindelof. Lindelof to play it forward. Gets it into the middle. Alex Tellez. Oh, he's been flattened there. He's gone down, but the referee just tells him to get back up again. Lindelof. Lindelof with a searching ball. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Andreas Pereira, Andreas Pereira has got himself a free kick, and it's Pogba. Good ball. Defending of the desperate variety. Lovely feet. Timely intervention. Real chance! Alex Tellez. Pogba. Porto clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. Is there any support? He might not need it. There's the shot! One matter. Andreas Pereira. Matic. And it's played forward. Rashford gets into a dangerous position. Maguire. So that's it. It is all over. Porto have won big and in number and indeed in good voice. And the game will be underway very soon. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. And already we're underway here. Going for goal! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Saka gets it back. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. That is good defending, it's been repelled. That's offside, yes it is. Maitland-Niles. Caballos. Now it's Obami. Hits one! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Chance! And 
Here's Kolasinic. Goes for goal! Brings it forward. He's through, now is he in? Well waited. Tries a shot! Saka. Arsenal have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. Socrates tries a pass forward. He spotted the run and played him through. Granit Xhaka. Loose. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Aubameyang. chance to break tries to dink it in good challenge excellent challenge that's just an example of over committing and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention it was vital cooks through there what an adventurous run from a defender goes for goal there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. That's a promising ball. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Kolasinac. Luis drives it forward. Saka. Kolasinac. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Look at the defender bombing forward. And through to the goalkeeper. Maitland-Niles. That's surely a foul free kick. it out to the flank and he's cut it out corner then A really good feet it's Alex Tellez relief it just needed better contact oh look i don't want to sound too dismissive but from here that looks the harder thing to do Luis. that is going to be the final action of the first half so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means and we are up to the break Porto really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through obviously the chances will come provided they can keep producing good spells 
it's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. Just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Porto playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty positives to take from the first half, despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. That's not the ball he wanted. He's left his man. Plays it back. He's had a go! Back of the net! The second half off to a spectacular start. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. A 1-0 lead established. Well, listen, a few words of advice and encouragement from the manager during the break can often straighten things out. And it's paid off here. David Luiz. Drives it towards the front. Uh, it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Just starting to get the first signs of rain here. Maitland Niles. Finds himself eased off the ball. It's a loose ball. got through Luis is there and he can get that clear and it's Danilo Pereira this defense is is weary about opposition pace so they're just not getting too tight yeah they know that if they they step up their their keeper could get a whole lot busier out to the left it goes well it's good stuff this is better. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Gets it, and now what? Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Porto with a chance here to increase their lead. He's shaping up to have. He's gone direct. Decent hit from there. Well, conceding free kicks in areas like that are an invitation to the set piece technicians. They have to cut this out. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Mesut Ozil. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Alex Tellez. Gets the better of his man. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Arsenal making consecutive changes here. Towering header! It's anyone's ball! Porto are clearly looking to kill this. Oh, that is asking for trouble. Header! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Clear away. Danilo Pereira. And it's Alex Tellez. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. Well, they're being caught out too much for my liking. It's not rocket science. Oh, that's a waste.
for Pastathopoulos. Defending was strong and firm. It's the through ball. Porto are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Mesut Ozil gets a good foot in there. And that's put paid to a promising move. Has a hit! Goal! Two up now, and they are cruising. Porto are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Two up and very little time left. Surely this is it. Yeah, looks very much like the final nail in the coffin for me, I have to say. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? The referee's awarded a free kick. Leno gets it upfield. Aubameyang with a definite foul there. Ford shows there will be three extra minutes. Oh, shooting chance! Finishing doesn't come simpler than that. Bang in front of goal. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Porto take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming.